Now, paint, it's not really much like the Microsoft Paint that comes preloaded on your computer if you have a Windows PC. It's actually really basic. You can tell that this was very well made. Color, very basic colors right here. Not, no ability to make your own color. Right here is a little bar to choose your thickness. The lower you put it, go a lot thinner. Opacity is how light you want to have yours. Like how bright you want it to have. And the thing I was kind of bummed about in this paint is there is actually no save option. So you cannot put that as your background if you want. Another cool thing about Silver OS is it comes with a lot of preloaded games like chess where you can play against a um, AI opponent which is artificial intelligence it's actually very smart as you can see they just checkmated me I think you get the point um, solitaire very basic kinda like the spider solitaire you would see on your Windows PC right here um, yeah it's really basic here works just like Spider Solitaire or any other online solitaire so a really cool thing I found about this is they have their own Twitter app since I do not have a Twitter account right now I cannot show you this Twitter application but you can go ahead and try it out for yourself because it seems really cool Flickr is just a little web browser where you can it's the same thing as a YouTube viewer but you can search pictures whatever you want now let's start moving into the uh, start menu here it's a little lightning bolt not really sure what that's supposed to mean games this is all the games that you've seen on the uh, desktop accessories it's not opening for me right now didn't want that. It's a little buggy at times, but oh, here we go. Oh, never seen these here before. Um, calculator. This is a very basic calculator, like the one that already comes pre-installed on your Windows PC. It it's very basic. One divided by zero. It still does not know one divided by zero. So accessories, chat. I don't know who you're supposed to be chatting with on here, but. It seems really cool if it actually worked. I'm, I, su I assume it's other people on your network that are using Silva OS at the current time. But I don't know anybody who would be actually doing that. My computer, it's basically the file explorer I already showed you. Recycle bin, you can delete things from your, um, from your My Documents folder and put it in the recycle bin. The control panel is if you oh yes I forgot if you find a really cool website on Google or a really cool uh, picture on Google Images you can set that as your um, as your background by uh, pasting in the URL right here and then pressing this right here and then pressing the save button and then that will set your background is the actual um, just that background for you and Silva OS comes with a lot, of, actually three pre-installed uh, themes. And this one, this one actually looks like a lot more modern. Uh, Windows Vista right here, or Windows 7, I would say, with these uh, buttons down here and this taskbar looks amazing. Classic. This, this one actually looks a lot more like Vista, I would say. You can, so you could choose from those. That's kind of a downside where there's only three installed uh, themes. Excuse me. Login. Same with the desktop. You can choose from a URL with a cool picture you have found online. That will be your login background. On the login screen, that will be your background.